Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail how to uh, generate a scatter plot uh, using IBM SPSS statistics. And like in the previous videos uh, where we've been generating particular, particular uh, types of plots, uh, we're going to rely upon a data set that can be found within uh, the sample uh, data sets that come along packaged with IBM SPSS statistics and in particular the employee data set. And like in previous videos I'll just provide a quick overview of the variables that we're going to concentrate on uh, for this particular video. Uh, we're going to concentrate on the gender variable. Uh, there's a number of employees within this organization. In particular we have 474 records, so there's 474 employees. Uh, each employee is categorized as either uh, male or female. Uh, we can actually see that we have uh, females and males down the highlighted uh, variable. Don't forget our variables are listed down the columns. What we're also going to rely upon is the job category uh, variable. Uh, we're going to rely upon the salary variable. Okay, uh, And we're also going to rely upon uh, the variable which is I suppose it's got to do with how much experience previous experience these particular Hallam employees had uh, before they came to this particular organization and in particular we'd like to be able to see whether there's a relationship between previous experience and an employee's beginning salary okay I suppose a reasonable hypothesis would be that the more experience that you have that you should enter uh, within an organization on a particular scale maybe uh, with a relatively larger salary uh, based off experience. But we'll have a look at it and see whether there is any relationships based off this particular data set. Okay, so as I said we're going to uh, produce a scatter plot. Uh, to produce a scatter plot what we do is once again we go to the graphs menu. Okay. Uh, we click on graphs. Okay, here's graphs here on the top, top across the top uh, bar. Uh, we click on graphs. We won't use chart builder. We'll go into the legacy dialogues. We'll scroll down. We'll go to scatter dot. Okay. Once we click on scatter dot, we'll just go for a simple scatter plot initially. Uh, we'll go define. And what we have is we have a pop up here that asks us to, f to define a number of parameters associated with the scatter plot. What's important for us at this particular stage is just to maybe to define the x-axis uh, variable, the variable that's going to be plotted along the x-axis, and the variable that's going to be plotted along the y-axis. Typically, uh, the x-axis would be defined to be our independent variable, and the y-axis would be defined to be our dependent variable. That's the variable that's dependent uh, on, on the x variable, okay, or on the independent variable. In this situation and for this example, okay, uh, what we're hypothesizing is that a, a, an individual, an employee's starting salary okay, is dependent on how much experience they have. So in this situation here, beginning salary is going to be our y variable. Okay, and we're going to say that that's dependent on the independent variable, which is previous experience. Okay. So once we've generated, once we've, once we've uh, I suppose, moved the variables across into these particular fields, all we need to do then is just hit OK. In this case, we'll hit OK. And what we get is we get a scalar plot that looks something like this. Once again, uh, it would be actually nice if we had a title associated with this particular plot. If we double click on the plot, our chart editor appears. If we go to options, we can input a title. Okay. In this situation here, this is a scatter plot. It's a scatter, scatter plot, a scatter plot. Uh, it's a scatter plot, and it's a scatter plot of a uh, previous experience, okay? Experience versus beginning salary. Okay, that's a nice descriptive uh, title for this particular chart. And we close that down, and what we have here is the scatter plot. Uh, it's probably hard to see here. I mean, there seems to be a, a, a band running across the scatter, the scatter diagram, a horizontal band running across the scatter diagram. 
Well, maybe what we'll try to do first is we'll try to put a best fit line on top of this particular on top of this particular scatter plot to see is there any specific trend? Is there a positive association? Does there seem to be a negative association between a uh, salary and previous experience, or is there a positive association between salary and previous experience? What I mean by a positive association is that when we draw the best fit line through the data set, the best fit line will have a positive slope it'll be increasing. Which would suggest that the more experience that you have, that the higher your salary is going to be. The less experience that you have, the lower your salary is going to be. Uh, as opposed to a negative association, in which case there would be a negatively sloped line across this particular scatter plot, which would indicate that the higher the salary you have, the lower your beginning salary, the lower, sorry, the lower, the, the higher your previous experience, previous experience up here, the lower your salary is going to be, whereas the lower your previous experience, the higher your salary is going to be. So if we double click on this particular plot, you can see that we have a number of options uh, here, and this option here has a straight line on it. It says add fit line at total. Okay, So all we do is we just click on that to add the line, and uh, we close it down, and what we have is we have a best fit line through this particular data set. Now this best fit line doesn't seem to have any significant slope. Okay, or considerable slope. Yeah, it seems to be quite shallow. It seems to be quite flat, which would be evidence, descriptive evidence, to suggest that there isn't an association between previous experience and beginning salary. Okay, but let's try to delve deeper in here because there is, there are high values uh, associated with uh, low previous experience. Yeah, so let's try to delve in a little bit deeper. Let's ask the question. Uh, but what about from a gender perspective? Okay? Is there an association between previous experience and beginning salary uh, based off whether you're male or whether you're female? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split the data set so that the output that comes out yeah, will give us a scatter plot for males and a, scatter, a scatter plot for females. So what I'll do is I'm going to go to data. I'm going to hit the data, the data tab uh, where we have a drop down list. I'm going to go down to split file, I'm going to click on split file, and we have a number of options, yeah? So let me just say that we want to, let's say, compare the groups or organize the groups by output. We can do whichever one we want to. Let's just say compare groups. And what I'm going to put in here is I'm going to ask for the groups should be based off the gender variable, which has two levels of measurement, has males and it has females. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit OK on this. Uh, you can see that SPSS uh, has sorted the cases based on gender and has split the file to be layered by gender. So any any option that we choose next, uh, the output is going to be output based off whether you're male or whether you're female. Okay. So let's run this particular